Hey guys, this is Jacques Gaines, and I'm here to talk to you about XR Photo 2024. This is a tutorial on how to pick and do triage of your photos using attributes. Stay tuned. Before I start this video, I just want to tell you guys that I am an XR Photo 2024 partner. If you like the software and you want to support the channel, do not forget to go into the description. You will find a 15% discount code and an affiliate link. Just click on those. It supports the channel and makes me be able to do these videos for you. So without further ado, let's get into it. So what is photo triage? Well, triage is just finding the best of your photo shoots to find the best of the best. XR Photo is really robust when it comes to making a triage and finding the photos that you think are the best. Not only does it offer you the typical type of photo triage using metadata and capture date, but it also does a lot of other cool things that only an AI software can do. And that is text prompt search. You can search for duplicates. You can even search for faces using the AI within XR our photo. That being said, it still is a robust software to go the traditional route. And that's what we're going to talk about today. Triage in your photos by assigning attributes and then using the filter button to decide which ones you want. within any triage software, I strongly suggest that if you wanna make the right judgments and the right calls on your photos, make sure that you find out the functionality that talks about making the previews as high quality as possible. If I double click on this and go in really close, if I zoom in, you're gonna see that it's very pixelated. So what Xire has done is has it has generated a rough preview so you can get an idea of the photo you are looking at. And from far, it looks fine. But what happens is when you want to do a triage, you want your photo nice and big and you want to be able to go through each one and look and decide which one is the best and make the call. So what I suggest that everyone does is make sure that you make your previews as high quality as possible. And let's do that right now. And I'll show you it's not that hard of a thing to do. You just go over into the folder section of the database folders and collections. You go into the folder sections. This is the folder that I'm in right now, the existing folder. What I do is I right click on this and I say build one on one previews, one to one previews. So it's going to give me a better quality preview for all of the photos within this folder. That being said, I want to make sure that afterward, when you're done, if you want to save space and you want to make sure that your database works well, the software works quickly, make sure that once you're done doing your work, you do clear one to one previews. It's pretty important. So now let's just click on build one to one previews at the top. You'll see building one to one previews and you'll see the progress manager at the top showing you how long it's going to take. So go get yourself a coffee and then come back when the one on one previews are ready. While the software is building previews, uh, you cannot. You, the only functionality you can do is, you know, sort of look at your photos and go through it. You won't be able to tag the photos or anything. You really do have to wait. But if you want to check and look at what you did during your shoot, it might be a good time. But it's also it's a good time to go have yourself a coffee. So what we're going to do in this video is we're going to look at each photo, decide and rate it. And once we rate it, we're going to put a label on it, some sort of a label. And that's the label that happens here in the attributes filter. We're either going to put a star, a color or a flag. And after that, we will use the attributes filter to find the photos that we labeled the way we labeled them. Just today, we're just going to label a bunch of photos and I'm going to show you how you can filter through attributes to get just those photos. And that's what the whole video is about today. Filtering through the attributes function in XR Photo 2024. That is it. So you guys will notice that I'm in the corner right now. That has changed. We've done a little capture. My capture software screwed up. So I had to go get another one and update. So here I am. 
Now, I have already labeled quite a few things uh, in here. Now, as I told you before, I label using either the color labels or the star ratings, but I can also use flags, which I don't use a lot, but I use normally star ratings or color, and 90% of the time I use colors. So let's say I go to this picture and I like it. I know the color code for red is number six, so I pick it. There it is labeled as red. I keep on going. Let's say I like this shot right here. I keep on going and I look at different shots. Not too bad. Good. That's kind of fun, even though we see all the equipment there. Uh, red. There you go. So let's say I pick a couple that are blue, though. Like, for example, this one. I say this one is really crazy great, and I put it as a priority. For me, nine or blue is a priority. So there you go. I've labeled a couple of pictures uh, in the folder that I have uh, built here. Now, I labeled others red and blue. Now, what you want to do is after this, when you leave and you've finished triage because your eyes are way too too tired, is when you come back, you want to be able to say, okay, what are the high priority pictures? For me, nine is high priority. So I will go into my attributes in the drop down, and I'll simply just say filter by color and color blue. So then it'll only show me the photos that I picked that are blue. So you get to see them. And uh, that is it. <laughs> That's all I wanted to show you guys. So there are some that I labeled as red. Normally there's more because I always pick a lot of photos in red. It's sort of my first triage. But you can do the same thing with stars as well. Uh, now these have shortcuts as well. I think it's one to five that you can label stuff. Now remember you can go in layers so you can say, okay, I've done the red, now I have all the red labels. Now let me go into this and upgrade each one of these and the ones I really like, I pick blue. So example, I'll take this one and I'll say, I'll make this blue, keep on going. I like that one, so I pick it blue. And then I look down here, I say this one will be blue and then I close. Now, I'm filtered by red, but if I go here and then filter back by blue, it'll show me all the ones I just picked, and it'll also show the new ones that I just labeled differently. So you can see them. There you go. So that is all I wanted to show you guys today was the traditional way of doing triage within XR Photo 2024. I am an affiliate. If you guys like the software, like what you see, like to be reassured that not only do you have AI triage, but you also have traditional triage. Well, uh, you can buy the software and support my channel and you can get a 15% discount on the purchase that you make. So check it out in the description. So go out there and like, share, subscribe, and don't forget everybody, keep on making something from nothing.